Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Honor the Line. Uh, today I have three boat cleaning products that I've been asked to, to test out and give you my opinion about. Uh, these are made by a company called Better Boat uh, out of Miami, Florida. So they sent me the deck cleaner, instant haul cleaner, and leather cleaner conditioner. I'm going to show you guys these things working on two different boats. I have a pleasure boat that you can see me by, back behind me. It's a 21 foot rinker. Uh, we've had it out on the Ohio River. It is very, very dirty, the hull and stuff. So I'm pretty excited about the hull cleaner. Uh, checking that out. Uh, the deck cleaner is a non-slip finish. These two are going to be, you know, mainly for my pleasure boat. The hull cleaner, uh, we'll use it on my boat too, but I have a black hull on my bass boat, so you're not going to be able to see it as well. Um, the leather cleaner conditioner works with, um, you know, vinyl and leather. So I, I have vinyl seats in both my boats. So the very first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys the hull cleaner. First and foremost, uh, I'm going to read the directions to you. So it's a shake bottle well prior to use. Rubber gloves are recommended. Spray solution directly on surface to be treated and allowed to set for two minutes. Rinse, rinse thoroughly with clean, fresh water. Repeat if necessary for stubborn and old stains. A second application may be needed. Um, so it says best results when temperature is above 50 degrees. It's about 70 degrees here in Ohio. It's the first day we've had this, that's super nice, so I'm gonna get out here and try it. Uh, it says uh, avoid contact with fabrics, anti-fouling bottom paint, and inferior quality details discoloration may occur. Guys, I'm sure there's, a, there's a acid in here. It also says um, basically to um, avoid contract with boat trailers and un other unintended painted surfaces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a water hose to make sure that I keep the, uh, the trailer nice and wet so this thing doesn't eat the paint off from it. According to Jonathan, the fellow that sent this to me from the company, this will eat paint off of, uh, off of painted surfaces. First thing you should do is test for collar fastness in a small area. Uh, and again, I wouldn't spray it directly on painted surfaces as you know that's not what it's designed for so let's get this thing on the hull i'm gonna show you guys some of the stains on there first and we'll spray it on there let it set for two minutes and see if we can just wash it off all right uh it's really tough to see here i'm i'm sure i can't see it through the viewfinder so it may be tough for you guys to see too uh there's a there's a water line right here um you can see that i can't get it off with my my thumb it goes all the way back through there let's see if i can't move the camera here so you guys can possibly see it on the glare back through there um, but it's going to be in this area right here. We're going to use the hull cleaner, see what happens. Guys, another thing I want to mention is that this spray bottle, this is just a cheap spray bottle top from uh, the dollar store. It does not come with a spray applicator. Get the other side while we're at it. And I'm gonna get the water hose out and get my trailer. Um, make sure it's clean. Make sure it uh, stays wet. So again, I'm, I'm applying this very, liber very liberally. All right, so I'm gonna let that set for Two minutes while I get the water hose, spray my trailer down. Actually, there's some right here on on this here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm gonna spray that down too. All right, so I know you can't see me right now, but so that's the instant hall cleaner. I'm gonna get the water hose, spray my trailer, make sure it doesn't uh, eat the paint off of there. And guys, I'm just spraying my trailer off, make sure that it's not on there. It's been about a minute and a half since I started spraying all that stuff. I can already tell you that it's taking the stains off of that. Hopefully I with just a quick spray and get rid of that. So. Definitely see a spot I've missed. All 
There's another problem area on my boat up underneath the uh, the well here for the the motor. Always gets uh, a big line in there. So hopefully you can see that uh, that line in there. All right, so my opinion of the Better Boat Hall Cleaner, stuff works like it should. Um, it turned a couple hour job into 15, 20 minutes. Spray it on, let it set for a couple minutes, spray it off through your garden hose, that's all you have to do. So next thing we're gonna look at is the deck cleaner, which I think you're gonna see a better um, comparison here. I'm gonna show you guys some before and after photos, also some before and after video. Uh, it's tough to do the video inside because it'll be spraying water everywhere. So again, Insta Hall Cleaner works, I recommend it. Next, the deck cleaner. The cool thing about the deck cleaner I like is it doesn't have a non, it has a non-slip surface, so it's not going to be like no silicone or anything in there. So you're going to you know slip and fall on your boat. Also, it gets all the stuff out of the grit of your boat deck. So we'll check it out. All right, so it's going to be a handheld shot. So it's going to be kind of shaky, but you can see here there's all kind of stains uh, from people getting on and off the boat on the back deck here. We're going to take the deck cleaner here. Spray it on here. The deck cleaner recommends that you scrub it with the brush, the deck brush. So I'm gonna do that as well. So see what happens. All right, so we're gonna be applying the Better Boat deck cleaner next. Uh, again, I'm pretty excited. It says no slip finish, which is gonna be good for this boat. Um, it says uh, wet it down, spray it, leave it on there for two or three minutes, and then take a deck brush. I just have this scrub brush. Uh, my deck brush is kind of not as stiff as this, so we're gonna actually do it with this. Uh, and then it says rinse thoroughly uh, and repeat if necessary. So I'm going to wet it down, spray this, wait two minutes, show you what happens. Again, same deal. This doesn't come with a spray applicator. I just, this is just a dollar store deal. Picked it up cheap, quick and easy. All right, let's let it set for two minutes. Get back after it. It's been about three minutes or so. Sprayed the uh, deck cleaner on here. I wet it down, sprayed it on here, and I'm gonna take this uh, scrub brush once I get it wet, scrub it down. I already tell a noticeable difference in it. All right, let's spray it off. There it is guys, hopefully you can see the noticeable difference there. Was, uh, I'll put some before and after pictures so you can really see it. Uh, I'm gonna cut the camera. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this uh, stuff, I'm gonna take the carpet out of my boat, spray the entire floor and sides of my boat, scrub it all down, and I'm gonna show you guys a before and after photo of that um, because it's gonna take me probably an hour or so to do that. So right now, the, the Better Boat Deck Cleaner uh, works like a champ, guys, uh, definitely. Makes a easy work out of doing that. Again, this is texturized. I don't know if you can hear that. It's got like sand in the finish. So again, I'm gonna take the carpet out and I'm going to do what I just did on this through the entire boat. I'll show you a before and after photo of that. All right guys, as you can see, again, I wanna throw some before and fo after photos up of the deck cleaner. I didn't wanna take a bunch of your time up showing you cleaning this stuff. I'm gonna show you some stuff here. I've been walking in here with my feet, so it's kinda of got some footprints on here now, but the before and after uh, photos speak wonders for this product. Better Boat Deck Cleaner is the real deal. Spray it on, actually get, get it wet first, spray it on, let it set for two or three minutes. Scrub it off with a brush, rinse it off with some clean water, and you are done. This stuff is awesome. So, so far we've tested the hall cleaner, which it worked amazingly. Uh, didn't have to scrub anything on there. Just um, sprayed it on, let it set for two or three minutes, garden hosed it back off, all that dirt and grime come right off the hull. A couple of things that I've noticed, this thing does have a, 
you know, a solvent smell to it or a feel. You don't want to do this in a garage. Make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. Uh, also, avoid skin contact with this stuff. Again, I'm not sure. It's not my product. I'd imagine it's got some kind of acid in it. So you don't want this on your skin. If you do, wash it off. Same with your eyes. Uh, but Better Boat Deck Cleaner, real deal. Here's before. The sunrise on a Saturday. I'm headed down to the lake. Just my buddy and me. Got my boat hooked up to my Chevy truck. I'm running high on luck. I ain't ever coming down. Time to back the boat down the ramp again. Do everything we can to come back in with a wind sack. As you can see, there's a lot of dirt and, and debris from my carpet and all that stuff. And then here's the after photograph after I've done not only the hull, but the, the deck inside my boat. It's a life of a fisherman you wouldn't understand Something you can't fill on dry land you Gotta get your arms way up in a cat And set the hook on a small mouth pass And then you'll understand you Works amazing. Guys, if you want to get your hands on some Better Boat products, go over to their website. Uh, thebetterboat.com or on Amazon and check out their products. If you use Better Boat 15 for their uh, promo code, you can get 15% off through on another line. So again, Better Boat, thebetterboat.com. Check it out. You definitely will not be disappointed. This stuff works. Thanks for checking out another episode of On Another Line. See you next time.